Hey everybody, Pastor Tom here. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. Um, many of you heard, as I announced uh, last week, I took a pastor's retreat to San Antonio, Texas, uh, and it was a blast. Wonderful weather, 73 degrees, got to spend time with my wife and a lot of my friends. Uh, and we went to lots of presentations because it was a pastor's conference. And the presenter, uh, he started off, uh, it was a room full of guys about uh, as old as I was, and he said, all right, you guys have been out in ministry about three, four, or five years. Uh, what's the dumbest thing you've done? Go ahead, go around your table and talk about the dumbest thing that you've done in ministry since you've been a pastor. <laughs> and there were some good stories. Um, I heard a story from one of my friends who talked about how uh, a female walked into his church on a Sunday morning and he thought she looked familiar and he said, oh, do you go to our grade school? Uh, but no, she was actually a college student uh, and she, uh, she never came back after the pastor asked uh, if she was in grade school. Uh, there is another story I heard about a pastor who accidentally filled up the communion cups with cold coffee instead of wine. Which, I don't know, could you imagine that? Uh, going up to take communion and uh, drinking coffee instead of wine. Um, hey, I've made all sorts of mistakes in my uh, four years of being a pastor. Um, good to hear some other people make mistakes as well. Uh, and I'm sure you do some dumb things from time to time as well. So why is this okay? Why is it okay uh, for a job as important as a minister, for whatever job that you have in your life, uh, to make dumb mistakes? Well, there's a passage from 1 Corinthians chapter 4 that says this. For we have this treasures in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power comes from God and not from us. It's important to remember that uh, whenever we share the gospel, whenever we do Christian things, show Christian love in this world, if anyone ever comes to faith, it's not because I'm so powerful and mighty. It's not because you're so powerful and mighty, but it's because of the work of God. It's this picture in 1 Corinthians 4 uh, that we're like a jar. You can picture back then they had nice clay jars. There's nothing, nothing that fancy about a clay jar. But if that jar is used to store valuable gems, diamonds, gold, uh, that jar is valuable then. Not because of the jar, but it's because what's inside the jar. And on the outside, the world might look at me, might look at you, might look at the rest of the church and say, there's nothing that impressive about it. And honestly, they're right. But you know what's impressive? The faith that God has put in our hearts. The forgiveness of sins that we have in Jesus. So we marvel at the fact that God uses guys like me, that God uses someone like you to be an evangelist, to share his word. And we marvel at the fact that we're just jars, but that God is the one who has put treasure inside of us. That's all I have for you. So God's blessings to all of you. Enjoy the rest of your day.